Welcome to the Tool Hut channel. Today we have a 2012 Chevy Equinox. The shop has replaced the cluster. Watch and learn. While you got a second, why don't you go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell if you want to be notified when stuff comes out. I welcome any questions or comments you may have down below. Okay, first things first. Any of the equipment that you see used in my videos is available on the website. If it's not there, send me an inquiry off the website toolhutusa.com. That's T O O L H U T U S A dot com. My name is Sam. All right, what we got today is we've got a 2012 Chevy Equinox. The shop has replaced the cluster. We're going to program it. We're using the uh, GM MDI 2 as our interface. We're going to be using the uh, aftermarket version of AC Delco SPS. And going from there, we have our maintainer plugged into it. So let's get this thing going. Alrighty, and away we go. So we've logged into AC Delco. We have. Uh, I'm going to get this thing going here. So. Remember, they have replaced the cluster in this vehicle. I'm still using an old version of Java. Uh, it's the most stable I have found at this point. This is an older recording that I've had around for a while, so... Just go through it with you here. everything to load. We're going to skip the, the wrapper install. We'll do that another day. And we're using a J2534 tool or the MDI-2. And we are replacing the cluster. It is a new one from the dealer. And it is a 2012 Equinox. We're just going to ID the vehicle here. These aren't as straightforward as they seem. We've done several of these. I'm not real sure what happens to the clusters. Uh, I've never diagnosed a bad one, but we sure program a bunch of them. And ACLCO added a function there where it says that there's a field action for this vehicle. I think it means there's just an update for it. Uh, maybe there's a recall on something. I don't know. Anyway, we just hit OK. It doesn't really tell you much else after that, so it's not real helpful. We are going to program it first. Our experience with these are you program them, and then you configure them, and then you set them up. So as far as I'm concerned, the the way they have it listed there is in the wrong order. So we program them first, and then we configure them, and then we set them up. So we're going to go through the whole process here. Here's all the different choices you got. Not really anything you can choose here. It's just the different different categories for where the flashes are going. So we're just going to hit next. You see we got a couple of asterisks and changing a whole bunch of numbers. So whatever. Let's move on. So it goes through its programming here. And to me this is the most nerve wracking part right here. So it's downloaded the top bars all the way across and we're waiting for it to start the programming at the bottom. This seems to where everything always fails is right in that era, right in that point. So it's pretty fast once it decides it's going to program. So we're just going to, we always clear the DTCs here as soon as, uh, as, soon as we program them. I left the key off for a little bit here just to let the module go to sleep. If you read the directions, it says leave the key off for 30 seconds. And I think my 30 second timer is broke. It's probably closer to 10 or 15 seconds. So 
going to leave them off until I feel good about it. Anyway, we're going to open GDS2 here. I'm just going to do a full scan. Just before we finish doing all the, the configuration and setup, we'd like to see what kind of codes we got after it's been programmed. One of the things is you will see the, the mileage in one of the modules here in the body control module. And we're going to need that. Notice that our cluster doesn't have a VIN in it yet either. So it's all Ys. This is configuration not programmed, VIN not programmed. We're going to fix that, so don't you worry. All right, let's go back to AC Delco here and let's get this thing configured and set up. There's a lot of, we do a lot of programming and I help a lot of shops get into doing programming and we always suggest if you do any quantity of GMs that GMs be, be the manufacturer you start with. Not because it's the easiest uh, to me, it's the most consistent. You know, the procedure is essentially the same for every module in every car. Not really, but there's some consistency to it where a lot of the other manufacturers don't maintain that consistency. I actually think that GM is one of the more, the easier ones to do, uh, like I say, because they hold the consistency. And they seem to line up with what service information tells you to a point. There's nothing that works exactly like they said it's supposed to. So we're going to go back to our IPC. I'm going to do the configuration this time. Remember, we don't have a VIN number or mileage road in this cluster yet. It should ask us for the mileage at some point during this this process. I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't ask, uh, and we're going to fix it. So if you just kind of watch through the video here, we'll I'll show you how I fix it. And we, every one of them we've done, we've had to do like this. So I thought it'd make a decent video. It did its configuration, and now we should do our setup. Gives you some directions here. We just follow the follow the Z directions. Get your twenty second wait here. is on still. That tells you it's done. I will tell you at this point, we still don't have any mileage on our cluster. It's still all zeros. I'm going to clear the codes. Like I say, everyone we've done has been like this. I don't know if there's a 
TSB four ohm or whatever. So it's not in the the setup. So we looked in the setup in the body control module. And we're trying to figure out why we don't have any mileage. So let's just go back and program the the BCM and see see if that does anything for us. See, there's not a whole lot of choices on the on the BCM here, so Let me scroll down here. We'll see the BCM data says no data. So let's go ahead and just program the the BCM. It's not really going to program it, but here's where it asks you. For the mileage and again I'm not real sure why it's in there because they put a cluster in it I'm not real sure why we've got to do anything with the with the mileage in the BCM We are miles here with the United States. So there's the. You gotta be careful putting the mileage in. You only get the option to do this one time. And then the, it never aligns with what you tell it. So no matter what mileage you tell it, it always fudges it a few miles either way. So keep that in mind as well. The customer's gonna think you took it to lunch or something. Sometimes I've seen it as much as 40 miles difference. It's usually five or six miles, but I've seen it as much as 40. What's the key off and then on? If we do a vehicle scan at this point, we will see that the mileage is there. And also the mileage is on the cluster. And our configuration not programmed code is gone. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me know if you got any questions about what we do. Have a great day.